हार्ड लाइफ इन पंडिचेरी हार्डशिप इन पंडिचेरी लाइफ दिस इज रिलेटिंग टू आवर लॉर्ड्स इनिशियल फेज ऑफ पंडिचेरी लाइफ फ्रॉम चंदन नगर श्री अरविंदो केम टू पंडिचेरी बिकॉज ही हार्ड ही गॉट द इनर कॉल इन हार्ड द इनर वॉइस दैट वॉज ए क्लियर इंडिकेशन फॉर समथिंग एल्स फॉर हुईज हिज लाइफ वॉज द मिंट फॉर नॉट द ऑर्डिनरी लाइफ एस यूजली वी आर स्पेंडिंग वी आर एक्चुअली वी नो व्हाट द ऑर्डिनरी लाइफ इज How much we may boast of that is ordinary or subordinary or below ordinary life, but we don't know. We claim it; it is superior, supermost. It is great. But uh, in between, if you answer yourself regarding the satisfaction of your life, definitely you will get the answer where really you stand. Till then, our ego is such. expanded past it won't allow us to make any self analysis or even if you are getting some indications or some advice to rectify it we will never move for any rectification because this is our ego where really we are standing that is right for us the way we are trading that is right for us the speech what are we are delivering or the things what we are speaking that is the best for out to the best of our knowledge are understand just understand what you are thinking that is best for your best for us the untrodden path the unnamed sea the unspoken word the untrodden path whatever you have you are doing that is okay it is good for you but it is not universally good your you have got your sense organ you have got your mind it can analyze it can reciprocate at least it can make a clear uh, analysis of it but thing is that it is not the final thing cuz so many ways so many ways there is a divine presence in us we can get the proper guidance from within that is the rule that is the law but thing is that we are not uh, in that actually you know position to understand what really is happening so here this is the right time to de- define how really this pondicherry life initial pondicherry life the of the lord and his uh, a few young companions it is actually you can't unbelievable unbelievable you can't imagine what the hardship they were facing and this is your lord once upon a time something you can imagine ics was under his feet got a very brilliant job in uh, baroda and he left everything because he no knew his mission and vision was something else he has to lift up this down trodden race who is struggling badly suffering badly so he had to left behind live he had to live behind all his eternity infinity immortality super conscience everything and he had to come down to this suffering struggling embodied world for the purpose was to lift up this world to its own zenith height and to cure the ills that normally his race the entire race is suffering from so he came to pondicherry that was the initial phase but it is back to its hardships toils sufferings life was not at all packed with the plump and splendor it was hardship toiling nothing was there so how it was initially we'll have a short discussion on that life in pandicherry the initial hardships you can see sir arvind with his young companions counted few used to live in great hardship in these early years nothing was left with them nobody was there to help because you are in those life long struggle you have seen the doctor son already i have taken a class for you i think you must have remembered recalled you must have heard it the doctor son 
but he has suffered severely in his study period. Maybe already I have told it is the 14 years exile as equivalent to 14 years exile of Lord Ramo, Ram Banvas. That hardship already I have told you, I have explained how that bitter experience was there. Still then, still then, Lord was smilingly facing all these troubles, struggling like anything because if the Lord can do it, nobody can do it. So he was the bright example and he turned the suffering into the bright hints of joy and ecstasy that we have seen. There was a little or particularly no money at all. They left, they left, stayed there. They had left with no money. Hardly no any money. Little or had particularly no money at all. They lived in a small room. That was a, just imagine. Lord of Lords. Lord of Lords, Supramental Abhata. Yesterday, I think, I was giving a talk on Sri Aurobind, Kolki Avatar and Sri Aurobind, I think you will be better aware of. So just imagine a small room with hardly any furniture. Hardly any furniture means you can imagine Sri Aurobindo's writings, Sri Aurobindo's expression, you can go, means there was nothing absolutely. Tears are rolling down from my cheeks. I think you will be packed with eye full of tears, your Lord, who is suffering hardly any furniture in that room. How they were enjoying? Slept on the floor. Now itself we are demanding we need um, this type of bed, this type of uh, AC from this company. So many this, that's comfort and all. But just imagine they were sleeping on the floor. Sri Aurobindo on a thin bedding. Oof. Tremendous, really heartbreaking. On a thin bedding and others on storm mats. They were God's companions. They were the God's companions, God's friend. They were accompanying him to his glo to their glorious deep deed, glorious journey towards Pondicherry. On the bed, on straw mats, they were sleeping. Very little. This is the condition how they were leading their life. No furniture, no bed, nothing. What about their food? Can you imagine? Very little to eat, very little, hardly. Just imagine, means um, you can take um, the other side, you can see. We may not be, this, this, this storm, these storms are indicating not so bad, but only, okay, it is not like this. Let very little to eat. It was difficult for his friends to send him money. Even if somebody is expecting to send some money for assistance, aid and assistance, they can't send because of this quite dangerous period and the dangerous eye of these British people who had arranged, employed these police officers and the CID around Sri Aurobindo. Even if somebody wants to help them, to focus on aid and assistance, it is difficult, definitely not possible. It is a billion dollar question now. Quite dangerous in those days for anyone to help the revolutionary leader. Something like a sadistic experience. They will be persecuted under the law. Just imagine our country, our countrymen, we are struggling for the, our uh, survival. This was something like a revo to helping the revolutionary le uh, le uh, leaders of those days quite dangerous. And uh, what in the, on the other side? Sri Aurobindo was watched and uh, uh, you know, pictured by the British Indian Police and the CID. British Indian Police and the CID. They had the sharp eyes on him. For many years together, for years together, even in Pondicherry. Because they felt, felt Sri Aurobindo is the most dangerous man most dangerous man in all India. They heard the idea. They clearly claimed Sri Aurobindo the most dangerous man in all the, all over all India. They heard very very much sharp look on Sri Aurobindo. 
Indeed, the British government could have uh, could never have believed that Sri Aurobindo has come to Pondicherry to practice his yoga and uh, you know, no, no, in a quiet place. Not at all. It is not convincible for them because they know what Sri Aurobindo is being brought up and read, been built up in uh, London, Cambridge, and Manchester. He knows his readings, guidance, everything. British people knew. And such the dangerous people whom they considered in all over India, he is the only the most dangerous man. They could not be able to believe that he is coming to Pondicherry to find a quiet place for to pursue his yogic myth, yogic yoga. Not at all. They could not disbelieve. Shirobinda has quoted about Pondicherry. He has told Pondicherry, the place of retreat, my cave of tapasya. Just imagine. My my place of retreat, my cave of tapasya, not of the ascetic kind, but a but a brand of my own. This is Pondicherry, and so far as yoga is concerned, Sri Aurobindo quoted, "Mine is the side door entry into spiritual life. Mine was the side door entry into the spiritual life. I have not gone out usually from the main gate, but the, it was the mine was the side door entry into the spiritual life not in the through the main door i have not come my mind was the side door entry into spiritual life then what happened they could not be able to believe that he has come to the quiet place that is something like pondicherry to practice his, his yoga not at all it was not believable for them they thought these british people entire you know british indian police and cid who were keeping watch of over sir bindu they thought that yoga and religion we are mere tricks to befool these people because they are actually you know ruling over entire world they can't be fooled because they are fooling the people who are fooling these british people they can't be fooled that's what their idea they felt this yoga and religion mere tricks and the tricks to hide the revolutionary activities for that actually you know tiger in the Guys, a pigeon can mask up in a fox, but actually it is tiger. All that they really knew that uh, Sri Aurobindo was the most dangerous man in all India. So he can't go for this in search of the quiet place for to pursue his yoga. And this yoga and religion, all these are masks, tricks to cheat these people, to hide the revolutionary activities. the source of all the trouble is uh, what most dangerous man in all india one source of their troubles and uh, the brain behind independence movement the three things they had the idea initially number one the most dangerous man in india one source of all the all the troubles for them third the brain behind the independence movement therefore they suspected if they can't they will be they could not be able to understand that he has not come definitely they were sure that he has not come to this place for uh, yoga pursue yoga so they suspected revolutionary instructions and plans perhaps even bombs and pistols being supplied by him from pondicherry because it is the safest happen for him it is coming under pondicherry province that's the uh, french province so they felt they felt some even revolutionary instructions plans bombs and pistols all these are being supplied by sri aurobindo from pondicherry to the revolutionaries and uh, so it was a secret police agent constantly haunted his house already i have shown this spy stories again and again it will come later so what happened the secret police agents were constantly haunted his house kept watch at every moment heard the secret hunt constantly wanted upon his house by secret police agents secret police agents heard the very watch on his movement noted the visitors who were who kept visiting him and mail made all sorts of attempt to get rid of him to make him isolated and to lift him outside this pondi province friends province like pondicherry to their own province so they they can be able to arrest him out because they could not be able to understand what really sri aurobindo was having in his mind because they simply they simply they mistrusted they could not be able to trust him because these people they are 
दे कैन बी ट्रस्टेड सो द मैन हु कैन नेवर बी ट्रस्टेड हाउ कैन ही एबल हाउ कैन यू एबल बी एबल टू ट्रस्ट इन दैट वाज द ट्रस्ट क्राइसिस क्राइसिस ऑफ ट्रस्ट क्राइसिस ऑफ फेथ दैट इज व्हाट दैट वाज ऑन द अर्ली हंटिंग हियर थैंक यू वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास टुमारो धन्यवाद